If you're anything like me, you'll appreciate a good Haitian free dye. And today, we are showing you how to make the most delicious but simple Haitian marinade. My name is Merlene, and this is Savory Thoughts. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna start with one cup of flour, all right? And this is so simple to make. You need one cup of flour, parsley, you can use fresh parsley, or you may use parsley flakes, which is what we're doing here today. We're using dried parsley flakes. And we're going to use about one tablespoon of parsley flakes. So we are also going to add in salt and pepper to taste. A rule of thumb, if you're all, if you're not sure, one teaspoon is always a safe bet. And after that, you can adjust your salt or your pepper to your liking. So we're doing one teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt, by the way. If you are using sea salt, try to reduce it as sea salt is uh, higher in sodium. Also using um, one tablespoon of oil. And the reason why we are adding oil to the marinade is because it helps it to loosen when we add in the water so it's not too sticky and too gummy. And we are going to add in one tablespoon of baking powder. And now, just like when you are baking a cake, baking powder will help it to rise. It's a leavening agent. Okay? I'm getting ready to add in half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Again, this is totally optional, but it does enhance the taste. So we are, mix we are mixing everything together. Alrighty. Now guys, there are some other ways you could make this as well. You could add what we call anasol, which is more herring. In later video, uh, videos, I will definitely show you guys how to make this. And we are also going to add one cup of water. Try to add it a little at a time so you can mix. Add and mix. And add <laughs> and mix again. And add. All right. Now you'll notice that the dough is forming, but it's still wet, and that's exactly what you want. You want it to have a wet, you want your dough to be wet. You want to have a wet dough. Right. So you may have to shake, budge to get all of this out. You don't have to use a whisk. I'm using a whisk because I find it to be easier, but you can definitely use a spoon or a fork if you'd like. We also have our oil at 400 degrees. Um, it's heating up at 400 degrees at the moment. So this is the consistency that you need. This is what you are looking for, okay? This is very delicious with fried plantains, y'all. This is very good. So because of the leavening agent, meaning the baking powder that we added, it's going to inflate, right? So be careful on how much you add in it as you don't want your marinade to be too large. So what I'm using is a um, ice cream scoop. You can even use the one with the clips where it falls off for you, or you can use something similar to this. If you are using this, I would suggest that you add, you know, take your finger, add oil, okay? And this helps the dough to not stick to the spoon. So guys, let's get ready to, to make this Haitian marinade. So you want to have a deep fryer for this, okay? You can use it in the deep fried skillet or you can use one of these deep electrical deep fryers, which is exactly what we are using today. And I have the temperature set at 400 degrees. Um, you don't want your marinade to cook too quickly or, um, or cook or, or be undercooked. 
So because it has been set 400 degrees, I'm actually going to reduce it because now the oil has been has been um, heating up for quite some time. So I am reducing it to 350 and I'm going to leave it as that. The reason being, you although the dough is going to cook quickly, but you don't want the outside to cook faster than the inside, right? So I have one scoop full of the dough in the ice cream scoop right here, okay? So one scoop full and we're going to transfer it to the hot pan. Now please be very careful as you do this because the oil is extremely hot and you don't want it to splash everywhere. Nice, look at that. This is also similar to uh, beignets, if you ever had beignets. The only difference is that this is savory, whereas beignet is a little bit sweeter. And also, as you can see, that the dough is starting to rise, right? And we're going to add in our next batch. One scoop at a time. I'm using an extra spoon here to help me. Try to do at least three to five because you don't want to overcrowd your pan, okay? Now we are going to flip it just to make sure that all sides are being cooked evenly. You are looking for golden color. So we just finished our first batch. It takes about five to seven minutes depending on the size. You may need to cook it longer if it's bigger. Okay, so now our marinade is completely done. Guys, take no time, about five to seven minutes, depending on the size. And look at how crispy, look at that. Nice and crispy, golden. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, and these are so amazing with Peakley's and I will definitely put a link in the description for it, how you can pair it and how you can serve it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it and leave a comment. Let me know how you made it. Let me know what you put in it. You can modify it. That's the beauty about how simple this recipe is. You can definitely modify it to your liking. So let me know what you did differently, how you enjoyed it, and also if you shared it with any of your friends and family. So cheers to you. Bon appetit.